Hello, my name is Brett from Drobo, and today I'm going to be taking you through the simple and easy setup process for the Drobo 5N. It has a gigabit ethernet port, which makes it perfect for any home, home office, or small office for sharing and backing up all data over a network. The whole process should take you no more than 10 minutes, so it really is simple and the easiest product out there in the market, as you'll see. So the 5N box is going to contain the 5N itself and this components box, which is going to include everything else that you'll need in order to get set up, including this setup guide on the back of this card, right there, the power supply, power cable, of course, and the gigabit ethernet cable, all included in there. Now our setup guide here is just six quick, easy to follow steps. But before you begin, be sure you register your product by going to myproducts.drobo.com. You'll need to create an account and then log in to register. Okay, so it is time to download the Drobo dashboard from our website. So you would just open up a web browser, any one that you like using, and go to drobo.com backslash start. And you'll see all of our Drobo products here to select from since we're going to do the Drobo 5N. You can select that and you'll see the options for both Mac and Windows. So just be sure to select the option that is appropriate for whatever operating system you're going to be setting this up on. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm just going to select the Drobo dashboard for Mac and let that download. And once it's finished, be able to see that in my downloads right here and open it up. Very, very easy and you just go through the prompts to install the Drobo dashboard. After you've downloaded the Drobo dashboard and followed the prompts to install the firmware, you're going to want to put at least two three and a half inch SATA hard drives into the Drobo. Now remember, if you're not using new hard drives, so you have some laying around you want to use, be sure the information on those drives is backed up somewhere else because they will reformat to the Drobo. Now with Drobo, you can use any manufacturer, any size, capacity, uh, mix and match even, and the Drobo will accept all types of hard drives. Connect the Drobo to a router or switch using the Ethernet cable, or you can plug it directly into your computer if it has an available Ethernet port, like I've done here, and power it on. You see the LED lights on the front display what's going on inside the Drobo at all times, and we have a handy reference guide on the back panel here. Green means everything is good, no action is needed. Yellow means you're starting to fill up and getting full on capacity, so it might be time to expand. A solid red light means you're really full, and a blinking red light will tell you there's something going on with that drive. It's probably going to go bad soon. It needs to be replaced. And that's all there is to it.